What we have on display here are actually two products. Uh, on the interior walls, or the interior framed walls, we have Plastermax IND, which stands for industrial. This is our direct applied over drywall system. Uh, it is sprayed on and then troweled smooth. It only goes on an eighth of an inch thick and provides between eight and 10,000 pounds per square inch of compressive strength uh, and then has double the abrasion resistance of CMU block. So it's a very hard, very durable, abuse resistant product, which as you can see with a little bit of troweling, you get a nice burnished effect, which you can stain with a transparent stain and have a faux look or you could paint this pro product if you wanted to, uh, or just a clear sealer, that type of thing, but it's, it's designed to, to have this type of look. On the exterior walls, we have Plastermax ICF, uh, both base coat and finish coat, which the base coat basically provides a 15 minute fire barrier, and then the finish coat provides this, this finish. Um, it's, it's virtually identical to this, it's not exactly the same, but it's very close. That's why you can't really tell them apart visually. Uh, and again, those are sprayed on, troweled smooth. Uh, all of the Plastermax family of products uh, have some very similar characteristics. They do not support mold growth whatsoever. They're uh, low, almost no VOC. They, um, no silica sand is added to the product, no Portland cement, no gypsum. Um, they are very green products all the way around, very low water usage. They can be applied directly over new construction like, we're, like we've done here, or they can be applied in a repair or renovation um, project as well. Or even old wall board uh, that's existing, wall. sure. If you had a, a wall that was subject to constant abuse, like in a, a foyer or a hallway or high traffic areas, uh, schools, hospitals, that kind of thing, um, you can just basically just clean the wall, put a, a quick primer on it, and apply the product directly to it. And, and it saves you the cost of having to uh, demo the, uh, the existing wall, replace it, and build it all out again, saving on the landfill, saving on all sorts of demo costs, and really becomes a cost-effective way to get this look out of something, get something new from something old. Uh, one of the things that we've noticed here, especially downstairs by the elevator, um, and I'm not going to say it's always going to work this way, but we've noticed that where doors swing open and hit, it, it doesn't do any damage to the wall where the doorknob has been hitting, so it might be a way to eliminate the not-so-attractive door stopper. We actually have a, uh, have a sample right here, which um, might have to get the light just right. Hopefully that, that showed up. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can add some, some different uh, decorative uh, plaster-oriented waxes to the product to get a... Uh, a, uh, a color effect and, and a more traditional Venetian plaster look is what you're getting. Uh, you would get a Venetian plaster look that you could actually touch afterwards. Uh, a lot of times those installations are very expensive and then they're also very delicate when they're done. This, like I said, comes with very, very high abuse resistant properties and, and has really a nice balance of form and function.